Hello everybody, welcome back to Project Zomboid. Um, it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It looks like. Um, hmm. Everything is going pretty good. I am starting to get a little tired, a little fatigued. <sighs> we got everything cleaned up with the armory. That's looking pretty good. We got that magazine taken care of. I wonder, maybe I should go ahead and throw this thing on. Put that back in there where it ought to go. Same thing with them. And then kind of look here. So the hunting knife is good. I like the hammer, I like the screwdriver. The wood axe is good. The scrap wood can go outside. I can add fuel to the fire. The scrap wood. Perfect. Doorknob I can put somewhere. Bandages, can painkillers, alcohol wipes. The two boxes of shotgun shells. Where are they going to go? I guess just on the floor. Yeah, I guess I guess that that's just where they're going. That way I don't forget them. And the duffel. All right, I would like to go out and do some looting, but uh, I am getting tired and it's getting late in the day. Hmm, is there anything I can do around here? Oh, spear is its own category. That's interesting. Spear is its own category. I wonder, I wonder if I put a wrench in my backpack and went out to that car i wonder if i can take off the light bulb and put on the light bulb for experience put that wrench in my pocket right quick i'm just gonna go do that i'm gonna go do it to the broken down car wow it's raining again so nice probably should bring in water No baddies, no baddies. So bring that. And then uh, the trunk. Repair it. A metal sheet. Or two small metal sheets. I actually have two small metal sheets. Propane torch. Uh, it says it says zero of two i need two propane torches metal working needs to be three and mechanics needs to be two okay so i can't even do that yet okay left headlight i need a light bulb okay all right but i need some light bulbs look i i feel like I feel like I have put light bulbs down. Uh, I feel like I have taken things apart. And I have, ooh, I have light bulbs on the outside of the house, actually. I'm not going to take those. Uh, but if I needed to, I could. But light bulbs, I feel like I actually held on to some light bulbs. There is one. There is a mod. Um, and the mod, it doesn't do like individual loot places. It just has radius loot. So that if you're standing here, you can just click on one tab and you can see everything in that radius. And I tried to download it. I tried to find it, uh, but I couldn't. Hmm. Those, those don't need to be here. Those need to go into the, uh, the armory room. I probably will end up building another. There's a red light bulb. It probably has to be a light bulb and not a red light bulb. Uh, 
Eh. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll go build another box in there. I can just hold all the weapons and such in there. And we'll get a little bit of experience here. There we go. Look at that. Left headlamp is now 100% fixed. So good. We'll, we'll go out tomorrow to the place we wanted to go to and we'll... We'll go loot the... Um, the storage area. For a second, I thought I was sick. All right. I think I think that thing's almost empty too, because I we cooked probably three or four. Um meals out of it and we filled up our water bottles a handful of times so pretty sure that is it zero or not at zero but darn near close to it you only need level six carpentry skill to uh to build the staircase and if we have a staircase and i can get to the roof and i can get to the roof and i can just put all those i can deconstruct those or move it and put them up on the roof so that when it rains, it just fills them up. And I think, I hope we can plumb all of them together. So if we have three up there, it just treats it as um, whatever the sum total of 160 times three is. 480. Who knows? Yeah, sorry that we left off yesterday uh <laughs> kind of doing stuff that was a little okay there's only 88 in there <clears throat> Excuse me. yeah sorry we, we were, we're doing more housekeeping stuff but Gotta get done. Yeah, it was only 88, and we've, we've brought three up, so that's 75. So there wasn't a lot in there at all. I'm glad that we're doing this, especially when it's raining. Probably should be taking it equal parts from all the different, the three out there, just so they all fill up, instead of taking it all from just one, and then maybe it doesn't fill all the way up. The other one is sitting there just overflowing. That's 105. We need three more trips. At least three. We'll snag it from this one. So cool though that you uh, once it passes through the the rain collector, it, it's not tainted anymore. It's weird that you pick it up from the top and it's tainted, but if it passes through it, then it's not. It's just, that's just odd to me. You would think of anything, but pulling it from the bottom would be worse. If you're pulling it from the top, all the stuff is settled to the bottom, you know? But who knows? Maybe there's like a a filtration system with the garbage bags or something that if it goes through the bottom it catches stuff i don't know i don't know so the uh a circuitano television show i um i stopped watching it 
on the third episode, I think, because something I thought was silly happened. <laughs> I still think it's silly. Uh, oh, do I still have water in it? Oh, there's a little bit left there. I'm going to go ahead and just fill it up anyway. I guess we filled up upstairs. Or maybe I turned it off too soon. There we go. We'll do this. And we will place it right there. Um, but something I thought was pretty silly happened in the television show, so I stopped watching it. Um, but then some people told me more about it and uh, this, that, and the other. And I was like, you know what? Fine. Yeah, 160 out of 160. Let's go ahead and um, let's put the soap on. I know that this guy took a shower a couple of days ago, but while we have this rain, it looks like the rain's going to go for a little bit. Might as well um, try to get uh, wash our clothes. Might as well try to wash all of our clothes because they are dirty. So Dirty and bloody. Everything is dirty and bloody. Not cake with dirt and blood. Well, some of the stuff is. But while we're here, while we have soap, there's some downtime. Working up an appetite before dinner. But anyway, watching the television show and um, something I thought was silly happened, but I, I came back to it. People were talking about it, and it's it's not bad. Uh, Ray Stevens, I think it's Ray Stevens' son or Ray Steven. He was in a television show called Rome. Uh, it was two seasons on HBO. Uh, I thought he was a great Titus Polo. Uh, <laughs> uh, I thought he was, he was just just a good actor, and it was just it was a great role for him. And I noticed that he was, um, ooh, I forgot Blaine. I think I don't know the guy's name on Star Wars, but he's playing a character on Star Wars. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'll I'll watch it for him. And he did because he, he passed away. He passed away. Um, uh, June, I think, June or July of this year. Uh, somewhere over in like Sicily. But uh, yeah, he's giving a good performance, and it's not that bad. It's not. That bad. I just, I just gotta tell myself that. I don't know. My when I when I quit it when I stopped it I my my statement was that. Star Wars had moved on and it really wasn't for me anymore. <laughs> but I just, I just gotta tell myself to relax. Hey, all you folks out there who play this game and watch me, how do you consolidate key rings? Right? Like how do you how do you figure that out? Like how do you get all these key rings? Sorted. I think that's the last of it right there. Oh nope, we got a or right, leather jacket. I like it. There's like blood right there too. So if you if you keep watching, that blood from the leather jacket is gonna go away when he gets done. Just watch right there. I know it's hard to see on your computers. Oh, didn't go away. All right. Well, I was anticlimactic. We look good though, don't we? Uh, that's the dryer. Yep. All of our clothing. Into the dryer. Go turn that on, and we really, really should have another. Is that dirty at all? It's a little bitty bloody. It does have a hole in it. Let's go ahead and wear it just for right now. Perfect. And we'll come over here. And I wonder. I wonder if we inspect it. No, it doesn't really say that we... We need a needle? I thought we had a needle on us. We do. What about thread? We have no thread. Again, we're just working up an appetite for dinner. Where's our... Where's our... Kits. Sewing kit. Let's just put that in our hand. And our thread. We'll put that in our hand. It's mad at me. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm cold. I thought it was going to yell at me for holding too much. All right. Back over here. Go to our shirt. Let's inspect it. Let's right-click and put some leather strips on it. 
There we go. What? Only one? Yeah, a leather padding to everything. Come on now. No stopping. Go, go, go. Oh, we're really hungry now. There we go. Perfect. We'll turn back around and we'll throw the other strips in there. And then, honestly, it would be so nice if I could just drag the thread into the kit. But you can't. What you have to do is have to place the item. Right? Now the kit's on the ground. Then you grab the thread and put the thread in there. Right? And then you can you can grab the item. And now you can put the sewing kit back on the shelf. Um, where's that, where's that, uh, TV dinner? Where'd I put the TV dinner at? There's the instant pop popcorn. There, TV dinner. I'm gonna grab a TV dinner. Oh, we're tired. Let's go over here to this. Uh, that's a defrost. Timer. Four minutes, maybe. And then let's put the TV dinner in the microwave. I think I turned it on. But it's cooking. See, cooking. It only cooked a little bit. In three minutes. That was four minutes. Oh my goodness. There we go. Let's eat our, let's eat our TV dinner. Let's see how many calories we get out of it. Ah, not bad. Not great, not bad. What was that? Oh, feeling a little sad. Let's think. Look at our... Look at our patchwork. So good. Uh, we're going to take our shirt off. Oh, hold on. Turn that off. I'll throw it in there. Wear all that. Then we're going to wear all that. And then we'll just let fate decide which one, which of the lumberjack shirts we wear. And wear one. What color did we get? Ah, we got our we got our, our original one. Very nice. Okay, we'll close that. We've eaten. We need to we need to find our a way to lighten our mood. Even though we are super duper tired. Let's watch a a videotape. Watch a videotape before we go to sleep. Reject that videotape. That was Ace Pilot. That was really good. Turn that on. Hit play. Jaunty Irish music. <laughs> oh, I can't read. Hello there or something. Haven't seen you for a while. Are you avoiding me? No, not at all. Not at all. I've been busy with masses and getting settled in. That's good to hear. Will you be going to the donkey cart race? <laughs> donkey cart race? <laughs> oh, it's a local annual tradition. The two rival families. <laughs> the Kav Kavanaugh's and the... Oh, I didn't get to read it. I've been looking everywhere for you. It's taken ill. Oh no, who's going to be the replacement? <laughs> the, rule, the rule has to be an outsider. Me? No, no, no. I have work. So sorry. Hey, why are we? How can we be sad? There's no way we could be sad. Look at that. Oh, maybe because we ate a a TV dinner. Maybe that's what did it. Or because we're super friggin' tired. Our fatigue is like through the roof. Wow. All right, let's turn that off. Perfect. Let's go put our 
pass that tape back and go to the medicine cabinet here. And we just a little bit of that there with the old, the old, the old, uh, the old pill. Make an antidepressant there. Got to fix that problem. And let's see. Let's see what a little bit of sleep will do for us here. All right, so the sleep has knocked away the fatigue. The unhappiness has gone away. That's the, that's the pill. Wow. Still raining. Great for crops. Great for crops, but... Does make life a little more difficult. Okay, we are not hungry at all. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to take like a can of peaches and a can of fruit fruit cocktail with me. And I'm going to go out. I'm, I want to go loot that area. Okay. Let's go put that stuff. The needle goes back in there. The screwdriver goes in there. That stuff goes in there. We got a couple of empty water bottles. Go fill those up right quick before we leave. They're wine bottles. <laughs> All right, we're already we're already over exerted here. Oh, the propane torch. Uh, open that back up. Oh, we weren't carrying the propane torch. We have the wrench. We'll put the wrench back. The hammer, the screwdriver, and the wood axe, they have to come with us today. Along with all of our medical equipment. The insurance company, that, that's just something that they determine that needs to happen. So there's really nothing I can do about it. That's all the insurance company. Uh, anything in the back that I need to be worried about? More hammers and wrenches. Yeah. How much, how much is that taking up at the back? That's taking up 21 out of 28. Uh, let's bring the gun inside then. And the that inside. Do the hammer. And, yeah, and the scissors. We'll do gas and vitamins. We'll do gas and vitamins. I know you're you're looking forward to me getting out of here. I am too. Um, wrench on the floor, lug wrench on the floor, scissors on the floor. It's the only, I mean, you know me, it's the only, it's the only place I'm going to, I'm going to be able to look for it or find it. Uh, the hammer on the floor and the hunting knife on the floor. Okay, I'm going to keep one of those and I'm going to keep one hammer. Perfect. Okay. And then now let's go to the back of the car. 13 out of 28. Perfect. Um, we also probably at some point need to go to the gas station and visit the gas station. We are going to need gasoline in this car and probably fill up the two gas cans we have. So that is a thing that we're going to need to do. Zombies. Now I forgot, what do I do here? I think I go down the road, right? What is that there? Is that... Yeah, that's, that's the brown hole in here. Um, the police baton, I probably am going to go ahead and retire it. Wow, I came in on the back of this again. I just do not know where this... I'm just not good at, uh, at coming to this place on the front. Maybe because there's just not a, a, a nice accessible road 
for it. I probably do not want to get in here with a car like this. Take that out. Take it out. Do a little run here. Hit two. Bring out this. Oh, wow. He went to the car. That's funny. Um... Oh, well, the, the, okay, it's doing better. Like, before we had a real bad problem with the, uh, with the nightstick just kind of not killing people. But, you know, it looks pretty good now. All right, now I have been told that it was about three swings with the wood axe. Oh, we brought the soap with us. <sighs> they said three swings, three or four swings with a wood axe to bring one of these down. Wow. Wow. No kidding. Wow. I I knew you I knew you were around, dude. I knew you were around. The wood axe though. It takes the, the wood axe takes a little bit of getting used to as a weapon. Like it swings slow. Oh, I see a guy over there. I'm gonna ooh, well, you know what? I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get him to come over. Do not want my root looting interrupted. I feel like well, that guy has like something on his back. Oh, at the same time. Of course. And one of them is a little faster than the other, so let's 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 play off of that and let's see if we can't perfect. Yeah, that's great. Perfect. I really hate it when they're like the same speed. Oh, nice. I knocked him down. Oh. That's great. I swore one of those had like a knife in his back or something. Okay. Great. That's great. Let's go in here. Let's sneak again. A wooden chair, a tire pump. Light blue paint, a battery. You have no idea how scared I am coming all the way back here. Uh, duct tape. Thank you. Some planks. Green paint. Empty bowl, a plate. Drumsticks, guitar. Thread. Please and thank you. Suit pants. Tire pump saw, garden saw, wooden mallet, and club. Okay. Not a hundred percent what I was looking for, but always more tools. Always having access to more tools is great. Nothing. <clears throat> Okay, this one's a little... This is what I expected. Oops. This is... Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, those are mannequins. <gasps> those are mannequins. <laughs> oh, 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 dude. That's, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's scary. <laughs> <gasps> Yay! Fishing line and tackle. That's awesome. The magazines. You gotta, you gotta put your five magazines in storage. I've always said that. And your two shoes. And then what's over here? What do we got? Okay. And what are, what are you? What do you got, sir? Madam? Interesting. Interesting. Police shirt shoe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, give me one second, folks. All right, and we're back. And look at this guy. Look at this guy. I mean, he he literally is just. I don't know, man. Hi. You are not a good zombie. Well, you know what? Who am I to judge? Maybe you're doing the best you can do. Um, and perfect. 
that up, it just updates the like you have like a big map and the big map is completely uh blanked out except for i think where you start like the town that you start in so reading those at least it fills in the that part of the map <laughs> oh, look at all that stuff look at all that stuff give me a sledgehammer in here oh oh look at that four metal sheets super duper nice metal bar stool Can I get to the other side of that? I can't. Hmm, interesting. Empty watering can. We could use that if we were gardening. A screwdriver and a surgical gloves. I'll grab the screwdriver. But the surgical gloves? I don't think I need. And how do I get back there to that? I gotta pick that up. think so okay what did he say about that he said it was too heavy or he said there was stuff in it yeah there's items in it just move those to the ground and then let's pick that up Put them back out here. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Now we can get to that side. And there's two tent pegs. Okay. Watering can. Drumsticks. Some books. Aw. Another VHS tape. Family one. There are the surgical gloves. And back here we have scrap metal, small metal sheets, welding rods, wire, safety goggles. I'm going to grab the Welding rods right off the bat. The metal sheets. You know what? I'll try to do that. Scrap metal. I don't know what you use scrap metal for. And then some sneakers. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to go over here to this pile. And I'm going to go ahead and drop the small metal sheets. Right there in that pile too. I was really looking forward to like a car jack or car jack, uh, tire jack. Uh, two generators. We found two new generators, though. I was really hoping to get a car jack out of all this. Nice. Videotape. Pillow and some sheets. Mm. All right. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Not bad. Not good. Not bad. Um, there is another side, of course, that we're going to go to, but we're going to go drop our loot here at the car, and then we're going to go uh, have lunch. So the duck's tape goes in there, welding rods, the thread, the magazine, the soap, fishing line, fishing tackle, scrap electron, ooh. Let's clap our electronics and all of our videotape. Cool. And then let's open up our, our fruit cocktail. And our canned peaches. Perfect. We'll eat all of our fruit cocktail. Delicious. And all of our canned peaches. Also delicious. Probably should have brought something higher in um, calories. You know what's missing? Well, I guess it is like the 90s. I was going to say like granola bars are missing, but I don't think they had them in the 90s. Right over here right quick. Turn that off pop out now can i open these doors from in here oh maybe that was the end of the oh that's all they had no 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 there's this one right yeah like that one isn't open 
Okay. Interesting. There's a light switch. Huh. These must be the climate controlled ones or whatever they're called. Yeah, so the outside is done. All these doors are open. Okay, yeah. All right. Now the one down here has an, has undead in it. That one's open now. That one's been open. You can hear him hitting it, right? This one, you can hear him hitting it. I don't want to open it. Run! Run, my guy. Holy crap, I don't think I can run. I think I'm too exhausted. Can you can you bring up number two? Bring out the other thing. I think I'm about to fall over because I'm so tired. Oh, he has a key. Put it on a key ring. Perfect. I need a chair. You can sit in a chair and relax for a little bit. I knew that was coming. Oh, we almost died like six times during that exchange. I knew he was in there too. All for nothing. Oh, just a dude who locked himself in. What a jerk. Okay. Oh, there's a zombie there. Hold on. I know if we can fight it. I mean, you say what you want about the zombie. But the zombie has nothing to do. So the zombie will spend all of its time. <laughs> yeah. The zombie will spend all of its time just hanging. Oh, there we go. We can barely jog. Like we're sitting down. Sitting down. We're relaxing. Everything's cool. Lovely. All right. So not a, not a bad haul. There are some tools here that we probably should come back for, but you know, nothing that's needed like today. So we're going to go all the way down to the gas station before we head home. I'd like to go in there again. All the way down to the gas station. I think the gas station might actually be... We might actually go to the right down here. Uh, yeah, that's the rusty rifle. The gas station's actually over that. We've got to go farther away from home. That guy just died. Like they were eating him. Okay. All right. Well. Um. I wanted to kill the police officer there. See what he has. Perfect. All right. We'll come back. We'll drive around a little bit. Come back. That right there, like that just screams like the keys are in the ignition, buddy, doesn't it? <laughs> to me it does. I'm too exhausted to fight all these guys. I do need to come down here and clean this out and get the uh get more gasoline. Oh, of course. Of course they're gonna camp the bottom. The diner was actually a real big letdown too. Like there wasn't anything in the diner like worth having. Oh, nice. Here, quick. 
have some ammunition. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, ew. look at that. He's a crawler. He's a crawler. All right, let's go home. Or yeah, the, the, for some reason, the second that this guy gets tired, like the moment that he gets like drowsy, he's like, and we're gone. <laughs> we will not be taking the right up here. Um, standing in the middle of the road, like a, like a doofus. Uh, we won't be taking the right up here, going on that back road, because it just gets overgrown too much. We're going to try to go all the way back up and hang a right and go into the... This is the wrong road, but maybe maybe this will, like, clue me in as to where I need to turn. Jeez, who killed all those? Who's the absolute madman? Oh, so it's just right here at the, the front of the... I see. I see. I know where I'm at. It's so funny, like, wherever you live in the game, like, there's just not that many zombies around where you live. Like, I don't know, I guess maybe they don't spawn in or something because you're around too often. It'd be nice if the rest of the game worked out. And whenever the developer, I mean, I know I've talked about this before, and maybe I should come off of it. Whenever the developers talk about how, like, you're never going to win or beat this game, just, just if, if you're like me and that, like, really gets under your skin, because it just, it, it sounds too much like an edgelord, like a, you know, like, no, man, you can't win. Don't you get it? Like, if, if that gets under your skin, just remember that, like, the second that they spawn in new zombies... Then, then you've won the game because if they spawn in brand new zombies that weren't in the game, like at the beginning of it, like when you, like I understand you have to like, like loading, like rendering the zombies, but if the game is set for like 12,000 zombies and you kill a significant portion of those, like 2,000, so then the game is like, oh, I got to spawn more because the difficulty, then, then you know you've won because it doesn't make any sense for them just to magically appear from nowhere you know like any game you're gonna lose if the computer just keeps magically spawning in uh bad guys you know so it has to be done with some level of continuity to make it believable that's just the way i see it like i know for a fact that i've killed all the zombies in a certain area like they've all been gone and then they just magically come back and it's like well I don't think that's how that should work. Maybe we'll make some popcorn today. We'll utilize the... We'll utilize the... Uh, the microwave again. That was fun. Instant pop popcorn into the microwave. The settings. I put mine on about three minutes. delicious snack oh we're not even hungry that was that was silly all right we're just we're just super tired and exhausted well we got home and we our guy just hasn't been eating a lot he just needs calories uh what's our status here we're down to 80 and we're still losing yeah we started with like 82 or 83 we have to keep our we have to drink we have to keep our calories up I think bourbon has a lot of calories in it yeah it sure does sure does and it cures that that depression and boredom and unhappiness and all that jazz so that's good i want my potatoes to come in man hey it's my birthday tomorrow
Happy birthday! That's cool. That's cool. Oh, it's two o'clock in the morning. What time do we go to sleep? Dang. Well, we're up. And we're drinking more bourbon. <laughs> we still we still have that other bourbon in our hand. That we do. We do. You drink the rest of that, buddy. You drink the rest of that. You've earned it. And then put the wood axe in your backpack. All right. And then let's fill all of our empty water bottles. How many, how many, uh, I guess some calories there. Almost a thousand extra calories. That's good. Still not putting on weight though, which is bad. 15 days have already gone by. Nice. It would be nice if we could train up some of our our stuff too, like metalworking. Some of the people who live near the mall say that the metalworking is like super duper easy to level up um, because there's just a ton of chairs in there and they all are made of metal so you can just disassemble all of them. We also need to do something with mechanics. Oh, we do have that fishing stuff. Well, I don't want to go fishing. We don't. This stuff right here. Like, these fish are going to go bad. If we don't. If we don't cook them soon. Yeah. I think it's just too dark to do anything. <gasps> harvest! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. It is harvest time for the potatoes. Put on our school bag. Lovely. I know you guys can't see it, and I probably won't be able to see it that much either, but it's, we can harvest our potatoes. So good. Oh, no. Ooh, where? Harvest. I wonder if we needed to have like a trowel in our hand to make the harvesting better. We got friggin' potatoes. I don't know if you know, but potatoes are high in calories and and nutrition. Potatoes is like one of the best foods in the world. Twenty-five fresh potatoes. That's only that's only even half the that, that that's that, yeah that's half the yield. I think you don't even have to refrigerate the potatoes in the game. I think you can just like put them uh, in a in a in a box like this. Forty potatoes, so good. Oh, we didn't read. We don't have the other farming book. We didn't read it. We're not getting all of our experience. We're getting as much as we can. Now these, I think, were planted a couple of days after the other ones. So they, they are going to be on. They're not going to be ready for a bit. Potatoes. Was that 50? Six fresh potatoes. Hold on a minute. There's 15 there. Where'd the other potatoes go? Where'd I put the potatoes? Where did I put the potatoes? Where did I put the potatoes? 
There's no way it puts them in two different spots. Where the crap did I put the potatoes? Did I put them over here? I thought I walked right here and put the potatoes in 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 that. There's only 15 there. I didn't put them in the refrigerator. I I I I am I can't remember. I want to drink the orange soda for calories. Oh yeah, peanut butter. We have yeast and flour. Too bad we can't make bread to make a peanut butter sandwich. I cannot believe that I have already lost the potatoes. <laughs> I cannot believe that I've already lost the potatoes. I put them in the oven. <laughs> Okie dokie. Can you please put them there? Wow. All right. Turn that off. Open this up. Cooking. Where is my baked potato? Of course you can't make just a baked potato. I can make a stew probably with potatoes in it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Go here. Throw that in there. Give me one. Give me one. All right, I'm gonna go make a stew. I'm gonna add a potato as an ingredient. Okay, can't do potatoes anymore, right? Add the chickpeas. Add the butter. Add the lentils. I do like carrots and stuff. Put another potato in there. Okay. Oh, they're frozen. That's why I can't do it right now. Hold on. Throw them in there. You go in there and you go in there. Uh, you go onto the floor for a second. Turn that on. They're, they're frozen. That's why. You dumb dumb. not even hungry either we're gonna be making this for later did i put a fish in there i don't think i put a fish in there turn that off a fish fillet i'm gonna do two fish fillets all right all right potato okay 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 I need to pick it back up off the floor. I just need to put it back there or something. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I had crackers to it. There, the there it is. It, it just did it. Broccoli. We're gonna add carrots. What if it even shows up here? There's the broccoli. I want to put some meat. I guess. I guess that's it. That's it. That's as good as she gets. All right then. Put that there. Where's? It? Did I? I'm not even eating that one yet. Okay. 
that back in there. Put the carrot back in there. All right. Sorry, folks. I'm I'm learning. I'm learning this game just as much as the next man. We got butter, tomato paste. We got crackers. We got two potatoes in there. We have chickpeas and lentils. And then we did. Oh, that's that's the cracker symbol again. And then we got some broccoli in there. No meat, just potatoes. Processed cheese. I don't remember seeing any processed cheese. We got all these potatoes. We we better get a stinking baked potato or something. I don't know. We're, and like I said, our guy's not even hungry. We're just cooking this for later. And then we'll be done with this video because we're already at an hour. You better can't make a cup of tea. There lies the bandage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do all those, I guess. There lies the bandages are better than regular bandages. Oh, I have ripped sheets nearby. Okay. Oh, let's turn that off. I bet it's cooked now. Oh, not yet. Hold on here. Turn it on for just a second longer. A little bit more. Finally. Perfect. Turn it off. Put it over in our hands. There's sterilized bandages. They can go. Oh, don't put them there. Put that in the refrigerator. And then those sterilized bandages need to go back in your hands. Perfect. Perfect. Lovely. And then we'll put this off to the side. For the next time that we... Ooh. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. The next time we go and we do our gardening. Which we probably need to plant some more stuff. Well, I don't know with winter coming up. But yeah, cool, 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 cool. Got our potatoes in. We did not get any potato seeds. There was a, there is a flowering stage. Those, those potatoes there, those potatoes there, as soon as they harvest, we're not going to, we're not going to harvest them. As soon as they harvest, we're going to let them go into their flowering stage and grab some seeds. All right. But on that note, thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And if you have a moment, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.